What's up guys, John from Magic Tech Review here. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at some tips and tricks that I've found, um, you know, using it, showing it to customers. Drop a like if you like stuff like this and subscribe for more. All right, hey guys, John from Magic Tech Review. So, uh, you know guys that I love this phone, very nice phone, uh, lots of nice rich features on the phone. And what I have done on this phone is I've actually gone to uh, settings down here and I've actually opened up developer options. So uh, it's a thing right here. You go to about phone. I know this is on uh, various phones, but you can actually hit the develop the, the build number and you just tap it about five times. And then this one will open up the developer options. So the developer options, uh, you can do different different things in here, but I wouldn't recommend touching most of these settings right here. I would actually just go to, uh, where is it at here? Window animation scale. So in default, it comes like this. It comes one, one, one. And of course, the phone is fast itself. Uh, but maybe you don't want to see those animations. Maybe you want to just have it lightning quick. Just go to everything really fast. So I found that you can go to, you go into these developer options again, and then you just go to animation scale. You turn it to off. So there you go. So then boom, it just goes, it just flies through. And I love using it this way, especially when uh, showing it to customers and stuff like that. Very useful. And I tell all my customers as well when they get the phone uh, to go ahead and do that. And another thing I've noticed as well is I think a lot of the ZTE phones have this as well on the uh, keyboard. Definitely have a lot of options here. And if you hit the one button right there, touch pal, there we go. All right, here we go. So you definitely have a lot of emoji cons available right away. Let's see here. I was looking for something else. So you have your emojis all up here ready to go. You can actually click on the emojis right there and you can go through. It actually has a GIF keyboard as well. So you can turn this on. GIF, GIF, GIF. Not exactly sure, but this keyboard is like pretty freaking amazing. Please check network. Let's turn this Wi-Fi on. Wi-Fi. Connecting. Hmm. Okay. So let me connect this real quick for you guys. All right. So you go to the emojis. Hot emoji. Look at all these emoji things, man. This thing is like pretty, pretty crazy and how it goes really fast like that. It gives you hot options. Then it gives you the uh, emoji thing right here where you can actually just do different emojis really quickly. So pretty freaking, uh, pretty silly, but I do like it a lot. Sleepy, good night, sweet dream. So this keyboard is awesome, and I think it's pretty much exclusive to uh, ZTE keyboards, but, you know, you can quickly do your pretty crazy emojis there. I'm not an emoji master, so don't kill me, guys, if you know, you know, if you got something way better than that. I'm just showing what I know. All right, and then we also have another option here. Since the phone is pretty big, um, we do have a thing called MyPop. You can just click my pop on default key, home or back key. So let's say, you know, let's say you want to use it like an orientation, like, you know, sideways or something like that, or, or whatever the case may be, or these buttons are giving you trouble, or you just don't like pressing those buttons in particular. You just hit that. And then you can, that can be your back button. So definitely pretty cool. 
And you can put this wherever you want and it's just like floating on your screen. So no matter where you want, no matter where you're at on the screen, no matter what application you're in, you always have access to those uh, keys right there. Even settings. So that's a pretty cool one. I like that. So settings. So you can open, go like that and then go to your, go to settings. Pretty dope feature. And then let's go ahead and look into the camera as well. So the camera, you got your little smile capture thing. So don't forget that, guys. And then you also have your beauty. So you can actually take away those wrinkles and whatnot and, you know, those uh, pimples or whatever you got going on there. And then in the settings as well, you can mirror because I hate, for some reason, like, it changes, it flips around sometimes. I can't stand that. Anti-banding, let me see, review, storage locations. And then also you have these uh, modes right here as well. So you got different modes there. So, and then let's see here. If you flip around, uh, some people might not know how to use the Boken effect. But, so basically, the more you... Uh, the more you use the Boken effect, the more you use that secondary camera, it actually gives it more of like a 3D effect. So, really love that uh, Boken effect on this thing. Let's see, what else do I got to show you guys? Hmm. All right, I guess that's about it, guys, for the tips and tricks video. Um, let me know if you like this type of video. And let me know what you think about the ZT Grand X Max 2. Stay tuned. Um, on the 9th, it might receive a price break. Can't say, uh, can't tell you exactly for sure or how much it's going to be, but just stay tuned, guys. This is John from Magic Tech Review. Peace out as always. Thanks for watching.